I just think people uh, assume that everyone's like them, right? That's a default, that they're right, that they make good choices. <laughs> and therefore, if I'm doing this and using this, all the other smart, good decision-making people must be as well. And so it's gonna do go well. The general advice I would have to investors would be this. Anything that triggers emotions in you, it's an emotional enough business. Anything that's triggering extra emotions, affinities, fears, whatever, try to get them out. I think the less connected people are to their investments, the better. You know, to you or I, if we've got a lemonade stand, and we're making good money from our lemonade stand, um, it's a great lemonade stand. It's not necessarily a great stock because that's about how much you can grow your earnings year after year after year, not just make a good living. There's always gonna be a very strong connection because it's tied to your family and your goals and your dreams. But adding on top of that, oh, I love their coffee or their tennis shoes or their phone or whatever the case may be, is not helping you make rational, objective decisions, which is all, you know, ultimately the cornerstone of a good plan.